Hey, what's up everyone? Ultimate Sonic HD here, and today I'm continuing the Let's Play of Persona 5 Royale for the PS4. Last time we went on a trip in Mementos to clear up two Mementos requests that have appeared on the fan site and to progress with the story progression. We retracted Maruki's hands identicals that were blocking our way in the palace, and now we can proceed further in the palace, and we also did the second a secret boss fight in the game, and that is the boss fight against Jose, which only unlocks after you collect a certain number of his stamps. I personally collected 150 when I got to him, so that should be pretty, uh, uh, pretty much what you need. That's when the trophy came up, even though there were still 15 stamps left to collect. I collected one of them off screen while I was grinding. Uh, Sumire to be level 99. Yeah, I did also. Uh, I did also did that off screen. And there we go. The fan site seems to be booming with excitement, as usual. Jesus, that's a lot of text messages. And I uh, realized what I uh, what I missed when I said that I'm not sure why I didn't unlock uh, Ren and Sumire's Showtime, which is the last Showtime attack in the game. Uh, basically, you need to max uh, max Sumire's confidant out in order to do that, and then you have to meet after January 20th. So yeah, until I get to the palace, I won't be seeing that showtime. But yeah, I hope Sumire is available tomorrow and the day after that, and after I'm done with that, I can continue on with the palace. Alright, let's go upstairs and watch DVDs. Let's watch a DVD. The X folders are next. Wolf, you can't be serious. You got aliens to this? I've heard it all before, Skelsey. But just look at this. I still have no idea if Guy, uh, Guy McFur is supposed to be based on Guyver, the anime, or something else. From what I've heard uh, the characters say when I watch that. It seems to be a lot more akin to Inspector Gadget, so... I have no idea where the name comes from then, so yeah. Like I said, if anyone knows something, comments below are the place to go. Alright, time for the 25th. Yeah, I forgot to mention, 21st of January is actually my dad's birthday. Oh come on, I don't have anything to do besides make infiltration tools. What's this about? What do you want to do? Let's make infiltration tools. Let's make 12 limelights. Nice. Need to spend all those materials I find in mementos. Text messages. What are your thoughts? Hey, hey. Okay, Yusuke wants to go to the palace. But first, yes, Sumire is available. Let's go.
Let's hang out. Don't overthink it. So there we go. Time to max out Sumire and spend some lovey dovey time together. You can even see it by the loading screen. Basically, we'll be watching her perform today. Need to readjust the camera for a, a bit. There we go. That should be okay. You look radiant today. There's the coach. Thank you for making time to observe me today. I really wanted to get an unbiased evaluation from you. You got a good look on your face today, Sumire. Yes, ma'am. I'm confident in the routine I'm about to perform. Well, at first glance, I'd say you look like you've got it all figured out. But I'm here to gauge your performance, not just let you brag about it. Now, begin. Now. Even her starting form's changed. Could this be your doing? It's all Sumire. You two are cute together. Aw, thank you. All right, See? That's one of the many proofs that, that these two belong together. Be sure to uh, uh, flick and add and subscribe. So we'll smash that like button. <laughs> I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but the path to international success will be harsh and relentless. Are you ready? You bet I'm ready. I will be number one in the world of gymnastics. I will make our dream a reality. Glad to hear you're so sure. With your natural grace and dedication to reach the gauntlet, no matter how far it is from your grasp, your dream is no longer impossible, and you're the one who decided that, not me. Great words, coach. You didn't even realize it, did you? Today's the first time you've told me you will win on an international level. Until today, you'd only tell me, I hope I win. Oh! Perhaps you even have someone special. The person who makes you want to dance just for them. Look, that's, um, I... My, it seems you haven't quite made a total transformation. Calm down. It's good to hear you have someone who really understands you in your corner. Your performance today truly was impressive. I'm looking forward to your next lesson already. Coach, me too! Coach Hirakuchi, liked my routine. You must be very happy. He doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. I'm super duper happy right now. Thanks to you, I feel like I finally found the answer I've been searching for, as well as discovering what's most important to me while performing. And that is? Do I really have to spell it out? Yes, you do. I've learned all sorts of things from my time with you. Now, I can show everyone how I really feel. And the two of us can take the crown of the gymnastics world. I'm so glad to hear you say that. And there we go. Rank 10 with Sumire. I am thou. Thou art I. We've thou maxed out the last uh, confidant, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion. We no longer have to worry about confidant socialization. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of faith. Granting the infinite power. Rank 10. And now we'll have our beautiful second awakening. Alright. This music again. As Sumire's persona Sendrion evolves into Vanadis.
I know it's a bit late, but I can feel my body start to shake. I think it's finally hitting me. I managed to really give it my best. There's more to come. You're right. This is just my own starting line. Simba, I have a favor to ask. Um, will you hold me tight like before? Not a problem. Aww. Oh no, I thought this would stop me shaking, but now it feels like my heart's about to burst. I feel the same way. <laughs> right. Why doesn't that give sparkly points? If I can just hang on to this one place in my mind, I feel like I can push myself further than I've ever gone before. I love you, Senpai. Now and forever. I love you too. Now and forever. Of course I did. And there we go, evade curse is what we get like with all the party members personal. And unfortunately the Arahan has to go. And the next thing that I'll have to go is sword dance because we'll get a much better physical ability. When we further evolve the persona. I'm counting on you. There we go. Alright, let's just hope that she's available tomorrow so I can further evolve her persona, then I'm off to work on the palace. Alright, tonight I'm actually gonna work, uh, do something that I've been putting up for a very long time. And yeah, remember that broken laptop we obtained way back when? Oh wait, I already did that. I thought I didn't do that. Oh well. I thought I didn't fix that laptop. Oh well. Let's finish up the X folders then. Yeah, I can see it on the table there. In which episode did I do that? I honestly forgot. Time for the twenty sixth. Ooh, it's snowy. I don't have anything to read. Just like the spell card. I know, I know. Just need one more daytime slot. She's not available, damn it. Okay, first of all, let's go to Shibuya and return the X folders. DVD. I only did, I watched three of them so far. All right, let's let's get the House MD. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go to Kichi Joji and go return that and get that Suti gear sold off.
I want to sell. No! Forgot to check the prizes. Now I can say nothing. Uh, now let's go to the airsoft shop. Oh, wait. I thought we were gonna transport me in front of it or something. Let's shop. No! What's up? No. Okay, you should be grateful. That's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Be sure to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught up in a rush. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Selling everything I do not need. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. That's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. There we go. That's about all I need for these types of items. And what do I do today? What do I do today? Since I can't. Well, I could go to the palace, but I really want to further evolve the persona. Hmm. Well, let's go to the gym again. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, let's go in. I need some place to spend all this accumulated money. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it already. Now I'm running just like in the metaverse. HP by 3, SP by 2. And that's it for tonight. It's fire for today. Now it's going on to the tonight segment. Alright, let's go watch the mouse MD. No, not this. Oh. What do you mean by surgical consent form? I can't believe you operated without a signature. It's over. The patient was cured. What exactly is the problem? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I really can't put my finger on. If the patient comes out alright, then nothing wrong ever happens. What's the problem with the single measly signature? Yeah, I know it's the uh, regulations and rules and all that. And if something do does go wrong, the guy who did the operation without the signature can get in serious trouble. But still, if nothing happens, what's the problem? They should say, yay, he's the hero who saved humanity. <laughs> uh, okay, a bit, a bit of an over-exaggeration there, but... Oh, come on, it's still snowing! By the way... Samira won't be available today, right? You. Come on, I want to do that! I wanna max, I mean, already max her out, but I wanna further evolve her persona as well. So I have everything left. So I don't have anything left. So I can just go to the palace and... Well, I still have Lavenza's fight and the two mementos requests. Come on, at least be available today. We have until February 3rd. Meaning I have to be done with Sumire's 
uh, uh, further evolution and uh, Lavenza's boss fight and the Mementos re uh, request by the end of January. Come on, be available. What's a little snow stopping true love? Come on. Come on. She's not available, damn it! Oh well, it's uh, it's on to the gym again. Okay. Again with the treadmill. By three and SP by two. Wanna head back? The regular shit. Will the weather be okay tomorrow? I really, oh. really want to do Sumire tomorrow. I need one more daytime slot of not going to the metaverse, and that's all I'm asking for. I don't want to get a game over this late into the adventure already. This increases kindness? Really now? I don't remember Dr. House being that kind. I mean, he was helping and all that, but his methods weren't the kindest among them. Come on, please don't snow, please don't snow, please don't snow, yes! Now, Sumire, please be available. I only have six days left of the deadline. Come on. No, she's not available. Why? Why aren't you available? Come on! <laughs> oh well. Alright, I'll return this DVD, but uh, first. I'll cut myself off here to do a bit of a calculation, so be right back. Okay, I did a bit of a calculation and yeah, if she is available uh, tomorrow and then on the 30th I go to the palace, secure the route of the treasure and on the 31st I go and do the remaining stuff in Mementos and on the 1st, uh, that, that was on the 31st, on the 1st then I go to finish off the Let's Play. Meaning I only have one more day to waste. So, as a slight possible precaution, I might actually have to go to meet up with everyone. Ah, there we go. Now I'll unlock the showtime. Hello, senpai. Wow, you got here fast. Well, while I was traveling here, I suddenly had this epiphany. So I had to hurry over and explain it to you. An epiphany? Right. I've been wondering for a while if there's any way I can bring some personal flair to my fights in Mementos. Your own flair, eh? And you came up with something? Yes, but I And yeah, spoiler warning, this is the best showtime in the game. Bar none. Properly. Yeah, it's gonna be an honor to Kasumi, but it's gonna be a pr uh, uh, proof of testament that these two are literally the canonical romance couple. And there we go, the star shall grant your wish. 
All right. I've definitely never seen anything like what she's planning. I can't wait for this. Neither can I. All right, I'm going into the palace very late, so let's see if it'll um... pay off. Yes. Infiltrate well, Palace! Let us go. Let's go back to Maroki, the Marquis Palace, with that beautiful piano. Why is it still question mark, question mark, question mark entry? Time for work. Okay. Let's, uh. Bring Yusuke to the party again to see if I'll be able to trigger his showtime too. Uh, yeah, this is where we left off last time. We're here. Cutscene? Oh no, just a bit of a longer loading screen. And there we go, tentacles are gone. Now I can proceed further. They're not cables, they're tentacles, I tell you. Let's move out! Yes! Wait, is there anything? Yeah! I always, always know there's something back there. Show me a true form! Show me a true form! These lips and gloves are... Very alieny sounding. Oh, okay. Oh, is there a will seed nearby? Okay, let's check every door then. This one's locked. Sugar. Not yet. Sugar. Oh. Really, I do have. I have to take a look at it first. For real? Yeah. To unlock these doors, you'll have to answer questions which only Maruki would know. Mm. But funny thing is, he never did and ever explain what that might be. Oh wait, he actually did. I think he actually did during his confidant journey. All right, let's go. And yeah, in in these doors, you'll just have to search for clues and answers on various billboards or research desks or anything like that. There's a there's a door here. There seems to be a treasure chest. That seems to be correct. It's a locked treasure chest, meaning it's extra valuable. Ooh, two soul foods. Hot damn, I'm in luck. This door does not work. You cannot go through it. Anything else here of value? Nope. Okay, that is this. Now let's go through this door. There's an air vent here. Nice, a tangled USB cord. Always a wonderful treasure to see in these parts. But where's the will seed? Is the will seed beyond those locked doors? Ah! That's the locked door I ran into earlier. And yeah, the answers are usually stored in these CRT TVs. The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built in VCR. Hmm. Maybe we've got to watch some TV first? I highly doubt that. Actually, there's a chance he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Oh, 
It appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Hmm, how could watching a tape be a trap? Nothing's happening. Nothing yet. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Do you think we should try whacking it? Uh, please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Yep, this is Maruki's girlfriend, Rumi, who you mentioned in his confidant journey. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So yeah, this first, is basically Maruki during his college the days. The other thing is, he caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with. But things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> My cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views... Now I'm starting to regret that I wasted way. that one day uh, when I went to the best. gym and should have gone to Mementos instead. Here I am. It would come Here really handy right now. Stuff just like always. <sighs> But anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is scientist with a PSI in front of it. My research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. Doc, no. Oh, she finally oh, talked! It's me. Are you alright? Can you talk? Talk to family. Uh. My family. Dad. Mom. No. Please. Please don't go. Ah! Rumi. Rumi. It's okay. Calm down. Give them back. Give me my mom and dad. <sighs> These migraines are... Damn it! Don't worry, someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Ruby. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need yeah, is to be kind of like from the what happened to Punisher. But how can I do that? Yusuke for uh, syndrome here. Something to... GX season four. But wait, 
Why are your glasses foggy? By changing their hearts, any related trauma is eliminated. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. I am that who manifests thoughts himself. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes, I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What was that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... who are you? Uh-oh. Rumi, it's me. Something went wrong. I'm, I'm really sorry, but... I don't know who you are. Ruby, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were young? You can't. It's me, Ruby. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here. You, you regret your actions yet? No? Well, let's continue on with the story and we'll see how it resolves. This is Yeah, Maroki should have literally stopped here if this is anything to go by. Um, are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean, it's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, for Rumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My, my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. That's one of Maruki's horrible truths. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Well, duh, obviously. I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? No, mm, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Indeed. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right. All right, let's continue on. Unlock the door and proceed. Uh, this is where we came from. I 
or something. Uh, there's that little seed, though. Oh, wait, I still haven't checked this door out. Could the will seed be here? Show me a true form. Right not, it's just a chest. Oh wait! There's an air vent. Hey, that's a treasure chest. It's fun time. Ah, there it is. I see the wheel seed. Infinity Saber. Catchy's new weapon, which I don't need. Slash away at these tentacles. There we go, the red one, the first one. Nice, red sorrow seed. So, this is a will seed. It's kind of creepy, huh? What is this? Contains an item. Ah, oh, there we go. That's how you unlock the door. Alright, and now we can proceed further through this door. Hmm. His lover is the correct answer. There we go, unlocked. Oh yeah. Wait, was that voiced? Nope, it wasn't. Uh I think we need to go to this room first. Oh! It's a second portion of the map. Speak for yourself. No way. Do you have a moment? I do have a moment. Um. Hmm. All right, let's continue on. <gasps> oh, it's this area. How suspicious. Okay, now I'm curious to where this elevator leads then. I haven't been here in a while, so... Oh wait, could it be a dead elevator just like in Shido's palace? Come on, call it, damn it. Yep, it's a dead elevator. Does not work. We have to go through this door then. Ooh, that's a lot of room. And I still have some time. This is locked. Go through this door, but first let's. I see there's a safe room here. Let's secure the safe room. I'll just add this. Save up. Continue on. Ready? Let's go, Joker. Okay, go through this door. Here. All right, time to unlock that door from the other side. Oh, alarm! Not that it matters anymore. There we go. Pick up this chest. Okay, so this part can get quite confusing with... There are many of these stairs, if I remember correctly. And yeah, picking the right ones to go to the correct section. Yeah, I knew it. And yeah, these old school wooden doors contain the tapes that you need to watch for those authentication doors. Yes. We'll run into later on, but they are locked from the outside, meaning you have to sneak in through an air vent or something. Which I'll do. I'll 
Well, that was... Immediately go through the door and... Snag him. I have something. Just to scope out... Some details so I don't miss them. There we go. Some additional scoping. Go up these stairs next. Oh, okay. There's another we'll see this fast. Oh, I see it already. This one's easy. And it's locked. Ah, just when I thought that things were going in my favor this time, we are met with a with yet another locked door in our face. That that's truly atrocious. I don't know what I just said, but I like it. So roll with it. Did I get... Oh, I didn't get this one. Broken meter panel. Is this a... Oh, wait, that's the room. Thought it was a safe room there. Uh, wait, where do I go? Oh, I need to go... Down the stairs again. It's still recording, I'm paying attention so it doesn't cut off and I lose a bunch of footage. Uh, I need to map everything out so I know where I've been and where I haven't. I need to go back here and there's a door I missed. No, oh, wait. That's not the way. There was a door I missed earlier. And was it upstairs then? See, you can easily get lost in this section as you can see. Ah, there it is, I see it. I see you, there it is. A chest. A relaxed gel. Anything here. Possibly an air vent or something. Nope. And I have no idea how to get to this staircase. I can feel it. Hmm. It cut me off. I apologize for that. I should be ending the episode soon. But let's see if I can. Oh! Oh no, that's the treasure pod here. <sighs> Wait, how did I get to these stairs again? Yeah, you can, as you can see, I already got lost. Oh, that, those are the stairs that lead up. Up there. Oh wait, then I know. I know. I thought those other stairs were the ones that got me up there. There we go. These stairs do. These stairs get me up there. Need to go. This is. Oh wait. There's another door I missed. That's what I'm missing. There we go. There we go! And there's the authentication door. Meaning our next step is going through that wooden door again. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. Alright, there's the staircase. And where does it take me? There we go. First off, we get here. Where it isn't locked. We unlock this door. Alright, we have to watch another one of Maruki's memories. Just hearing it from you is pissing me off. You've come so far. What problem could they possibly have now? I tried negotiating in person with the professor and the investors, but they simply wouldn't listen. Due to the lack of concrete evidence, all further research and funding in the field of cognitive science will cease. And yeah, this is 
the moment where Maruki's funding was cut off due to simple, simple lack of evidence. But that brings up the question of who was funding Wakaba's research then? They're not going through with that anymore? Did she have concrete evidence and refuse to share it? Or? Yeah. How are we supposed to get any evidence if we can't perform the research first? If we can change the cognition of trauma victims, their suffering can be eliminated. Who knows how many people could be saved with this research? How much more obvious could its benefits be? So, do you really think the lack of evidence is the reason they shut it all down? <sighs> It makes absolutely no sense to me. After all the time and money spent, to just cut off my research because it wasn't all proven sound immediately. Even if that was the result of some kind of conspiracy, what could I do about it? It's not like I have any proof. I see. So, what are you gonna do now? The sponsors have backed out, so I doubt the college is gonna let you keep using their labs. I'm done with that college. They have nothing for me at this point. Yeah, there we go. The exact words were mine uh, a few a few months ago. Well, not exactly a few months, a few weeks ago, I should say. And there we go. Oh. I swear, I'm going to do it. I have the power now. It cost me my life with you. So I'm going to rescue everyone from their pain. I don't care how long it takes me. It's going to happen. And there we go. Now's the end of the video. So that was another of Dr. Maruki's memories? Yes, I believe so. Seemed to be a much more recent memory than the first one we saw, though. His research was cut off. So after the incident with his girlfriend, he progressed in his research to harness cognitive science as a healing practice. However, his research was shut down, and his career along with it. All he had left was his resolve to prove his research valid, then use it to save people. That seems to be the message delivered by the videos we found. It must have been his dream, to use his research to save people here. If that sounds good to you, would you prefer we just turn around and go home? That isn't an option. Yeah. Yeah, what she says. If anything, I've got to pull out all the stops to win this one. Well, the vote was unanimous. Indeed. Alright, now we can open the door. Alright, now the question remains, how do we get to the will seed? No, not this. No, not here either. Let's proceed. There's this staircase too. Let's see. How do I get to that little scene? I haven't grabbed this. Oh wait. I didn't go up these stairs. And yeah, that's how I get to the Staircase here. I can see a shadow. Wait, is this a higher Let's floor? Ah, oh, come on. Joker, there's a treasure chest. There's a treasure chest, and there's also a grabby grabby point. A golden dress, just for you, Sumire. Oh, this is another new persona. Ah, that's the one we've seen in the... in Futaba's palace. Where? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice! We're on the grid. Where are you? There you are.
this window can be broken as you can see nice and there's the wheel seed let's grab it it's the second and green uh, is it the second green one and only one more wheel seed to go Second wheel seed. This is going rather well. There we go, unlock the door. Let's go back once more. I still want to. No, no. No, is this? Yeah, it is the way to go. See, you can very easily get lost here. I want to keep doing this until I find a. Safe room, okay. Everything's here mapped out. Yeah, except the actual way where we have to go. So yeah, we're done here. We're we're just gonna go to the authentication door now. Come on. Ah stupid. Alright, let's go. What's the question this time? I already know the answer, so yeah. And rolling. Okay, I need to adjust the camera a bit. There we go. Uh, what was missing that caused our research evidence? Yeah, that's the, the thing that missed. That was missing. Unlocked. There we go. And now we can proceed. What's Marky's favorite snack? Yeah, that is a legitimate question. I have to agree with the catchy. What's this? Oh, it's this section of the palace. You know, this actually might be a very good section to cut off from this episode. There's a safe room here, so we'll be cutting off here. First, let's pick this up. Is there the safe, safe room's here, that bottom door is unusable, so yeah. Now we can travel to the exam room. There we go. Wait, I'm currently... Oh, it's not yet. Let me pick her up. Okay. I'm gonna leave this episode right here, and I'm gonna continue on next time. So, yeah, now we'll be going all the way until we secure the route to the treasure. Then on the 29th, uh, I pray to God that Sumire will be available so I can... Uh, so I can fully evolve her persona. If not, then we'll just go to Mementos to clear the last two Mementos requests in the game and also do the secret boss fight with Lavenza and then you will have about I think two days to spend uh, if we are going after uh, Sumire's final persona evolution and yeah let's let's hope we get to see that because I really have to have everything done when it comes to party members and confidants and all that that, everything that isn't reading books, playing games, or watching DVDs. Anyway, yeah. Today's uh, episode is finished, so thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and updates. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as usual, I'll upload the next part whenever I can. Be sure to check out my Patreon when you got the time. Maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it. And I'll see you all and have a good day. Peace!